Satnam, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to Creative Connections readings. My name is Jean. And this is going to be a pick a card reading to see what are the the messages? What do the fairies have to say? What are the messages that the fairies have for us today? No one. So I think that would be really sweet. So we have four piles to pick from as usual. So for pile number one, we have this really small citrine fairy quartz point. Then for pile number two, we have this erotic <laughs> Ametrine fairy quartz. Look at that yellow and purple shimmering together. Just dance. Just dance. Then for pile numero tres, we have this pineapple quartz cluster, which is also actually fairy quartz. Wow. <laughs> Shakira, Shakira, it is tu? La, 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 la. Wow. Do you guys know that TikTok? I find that so funny. <laughs> and then for pile number four, we, wow. <laughs> we have this um, citrine fairy quartz anzel, okay? So those are the four piles. So once again, see what do the fairies have to share with you. Pick your pile and I will see you there. Sat and Nam. Pile one. For those of you who picked this, Fairy Quartz Point. Boop. This is going to be a reading. <laughs> so what do the Sherry's want to share with you? I'm already getting somebody here is a little bit tight. I'm, I'm getting somebody here is un poquito like, um, yeah, wisdom. Like, 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 this is actually giving me this vibe of like, you know how like, um, like, I don't know, like somebody feels just a little bit tight. Let me just get one, one more card. Yeah, with the Four of Pentacles as well, to a fire journey. I feel like somebody here is a little bit restricted in regards to how they how they think, like, their wisdom should be. Does that make sense? Like, their belief system, or what they think to be wise, or what they think to be true, or what they think to be... Um, the truth, the beginning or end all. Does that make sense? I feel like even for some of you, the fairies are kind of like, like I'm getting this kind of mischievous energy of like, um, nothing is as it seems, my love. Ooh, hee, hee, hee. You know, like, ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> um, like even in regards to your stability, even in regards to what makes you feel safe and shit like that, I feel like for some of you, the fairies want you to know that you have become a little bit maybe rigid is the word um, in regards to how you, what you think to be true, like what you think to be um who you think to be wise even is what i'm hearing here this is giving me the bible for like forever your whole life thinking um that the elderly are the wise ones right but then like the fairy energy comes in and shows you that the wisdom actually comes from like the children something like that even okay it's some kind of energy like that I feel like the fairies, quite honestly, Paul number one, I feel like the fairies are coming in to disrupt your your foundation a little bit. But this is in order to 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 give you some kind of new wisdom, some kind of new earth, new world wis wisdom even, okay? Seven of Earth, yeah. I feel like there's actually something that you need to look at in regards to um your stability, in regards to your roots or something. Let's see a little bit more. Six of Earth. I'm hearing you're already doing extremely well or something. What? Seven of Earth, Six of Earth. And Strength, yeah. Um. So I feel like the fairies want you to know. I feel like the fairies want you to know again, again. Like, um... So I feel like you're doing really well in regards to, you have been doing really well in regards to your roots, in regards to your finances, in regards to even your belief system. If not, this is about to happen, which is also like a gift coming from the fairies. I do need to say though, even though like your wisdom up until now has been serving you very well, even though like you're almost your rigidity within uh, your perceivedness or within your knowledge, what you know to be true has served you really well. I feel like the fairies is saying like listen we're not saying it should become extremely malleable we're not we're not saying it should become water however it should become like a six of earth a, a little bit like you know like you need wiggle room in order for for new wisdom and um, perspectives to 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 come up into your into your life okay i feel like the fairies want to bring in this new kind of um 
this new world wisdom to not only um, power, like I just heard overpower, not only to, 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 to help you overpower your obstacles, but also to bring in more stability, bring in more finances, bring in more abundance, okay? I feel like I am making sense, yes. And I feel like, I feel like, I feel like the reason why you might also be, be this rigid is because I feel like this, mis this mischievous, um, unknownish energy is kind of like, for some of you, you're kind of like, I'm, I'm kind of over it or something like that. But there's still, there's, there's, the, the, I feel like this last thing that they're going to show you or this last thing that they're going to learn you or teach you rather is going to be something, um, quite profound. It's going to be something that is going to really help you or really assist you or really give you like, like, um, <laughs> like wisdom of the ages or something like that because i keep seeing the death card as well i mean that's quite a quite an intense energy right so the queen of cups reverse the wheel of fortune reverse and the hangman reverse oh my gosh Hmm, and the Ace of Wands in reverse. Let me just hold your crystal quickly. So what I am again getting here is, I, I feel like again, the fairies are coming in and saying like, listen, listen, we don't, we don't need you to, we don't need to become like overly emotional. We don't need you to like forget everything you've learned up until now. We don't need you to uproot your whole fucking everything that you've, that you've grown or built for your, for your spiritual stability or emotional stability, shit like that, right? Like, don't forget everything that you just went through or anything like that. We're only asking you, we're only asking you to keep it a little bit malleable. We're only asking you to, to, to keep it turning, okay? To keep this wheel turning, um, no matter which way it turns i'm feeling like this wheel feels very big and very bulky to me again which means that it's not like water it's not something that's completely going to be like washed away and you now have to be like go through some kind of very intense spiritual awakening from the beginning or anything like that this is just like like the fairies are just coming. It's almost like the seasons actually as well. I'm feeling it's almost like you, they're teaching you to navigate the seasons like um like you're still going to be like doof, doof, doof. Like, so there's always going to be movement, um, but don't, don't let it be just like, doof, doof, doof. like, don't get stuck in just one thing. Don't get stuck in just one season. Okay. Yes. I feel like that's also, that's also, that transmuted some kind of dense energy that I felt there. So one Oracle card per February. Mother Earth, feel loved and comforted. You have a lot of like Gaia, a lot, a lot of Earth energies here, okay? Summer bask and joy and light. So definitely you're about to, you are about to receive some kind of um, new wisdom. Again, some kind of new wisdom that's going to make you a little bit more be able to move, um, a little bit more able to navigate or something. Um, that's going to bring you a lot of abundance. It's going to bring you a lot of stability, okay? Um, this is going to be, again, this new information feels very, um, it feels almost, it almost feels a little bit this similar to, to what you already have known or already have built or um, within yourself, but it is still going to be very, 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 very good for you. It's going to release a lot of blockages and a lot of stagnancy for you. Okay. Um, so as where's the earth, where's the earth, you, you would have this like constant like boulder in front of you. Now you learn earth bending and you're like able to like doof, doof, move the earth. Okay. Um, not like necessarily easily, but like in an earthy way, I mean like step, by step by step everything has its place in time the seasons that kind of vibe i hope i'm making myself clear like i feel like somebody is not happy with um some kind of energy some some kind of energy is not being expressed or something what is this <laughs> no it's just some somebody with a I feel like that's just something that you need to go feel like. Maybe go meditate on that because, again, I feel like you're being rigid. Uh -huh. Okay, so thank you for the number one. That was your uh, reading. Please consider liking and subscribing. And I will see you again for another one. Satnam, bye. Satnam, pile number two. For those of you who picked this <laughs> sexually erotic.
um, amateur inside, I always feel like this thing is some has some kind of sexual connotation. I do like like uh, a circumcised penis. Okay, um, this is going to be a reading to see what do the the fairies have to tell you. Like, just a circumcision, you know? It's not like the whole thing was cut off or anything like that. I don't know why that's now coming up. <laughs> so the two of fire and the two of pentacles and integrity. So we have two, two here. I feel like somebody, somebody is, uh, um, I feel like somebody is juggling themselves. I feel like somebody is juggling or like rather a counterpart of themselves. I feel like you might be doing this or you are the one experiencing this juggling. I feel like somebody is like an um, actual mirror. Somebody is like twin flame or soulmate, like however you see this, like kingdom spouse or somebody that just like very much like mirrors you, um, is juggling you. Um, and I feel like you know this. So I feel like for the most part, this is maybe going to be a message for how can you relate release this energy how can you move past this i'm already hearing the the fairies like say like well just leave them like <laughs> just fly away is what i'm hearing we don't all have wings though um just grow them is also what i'm hearing what the fuck just grow them anyway somebody's like twinish person is um is is juggling them and like i i also heard like has a choice or a consistent choice of what to do yeah magician high priestess this is definitely somebody on your level i'm seeing 11 11 now this is definitely somebody on your level somebody who is um your complete reflection or something um but they're juggling you so let's see what's happening or you're juggling them energetically i'm even hearing for some of you Ooh. so you have the page of water the star and the three of cups, two of cups, the sun, the three of earth, the moon, ace of cups, seven of air, eight of fire, nine of cups. What's happening? I feel like, yeah, again, choice. I feel like somebody has some kind of like juggling energy of whether they want to move towards you, whether they want to move towards this. Uh, maybe even if it's not personal as of just yet, maybe somebody is still spiritually wondering or deciding whether they want to be on, the, or whether they want to accept some kind of twin flame journey. Somebody's juggling this like star seed energy. Um, but there, the one juggling is also a star seed though, because I mean, you're a reflection of each other, right? So, hmm, somebody's juggling of whether they want to move towards a star seed or follow in the footsteps of the star seed journey, this twin flame journey or something like that. The fairies want you to know that there is going to be some, some kind of celebration though. One triple two as well. I feel like there is going to be some kind of, um, union or a wedding or a something, something big happening. Okay. That's going to make somebody happy. Um, for some of you, this person might even be juggling you between like it, it might be like this juggle between you and a friend group or um i'm again hearing like a soul tribe or something um whatever um but like 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 i don't know this person is is, is trying to juggle a two of fire and a two of cups with a three of cups you know and like either way that's not going to work out like whoever is doing the juggling in the situation the fair i'm actually getting quite honest i'm actually getting the fairies getting kind of angry or something um, I don't know, somebody maybe hurts a fairy or is hurting a fairy consciousness or something. And, like, we all know how fairies can get when they get hurt, right? Or when they're, like, angry or shit like that. It's just like, what the fuck? Like, I got a vibe, okay? I don't know, like, I even feel like maybe, I don't know, my, like, I feel like maybe somebody's even playing in your energy field. Like, maybe this this person who should be, uh, I, I don't want to say with you, but it should be with you because a two of cups and a two of fire, um, that's a reflection, right? That's like you're like, like, like the thing you wanted is what I'm hearing. Um, but now they don't, I don't know, it's making the fairies angry or something. Because they, they keep juggling you with some kind of like, um, well, they keep juggling you, period, is, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, Nine of Cups, they're like actively, oh, Queen of Pentacles and the Temperance, they're like actively like like trying to juggle their, their, their wish fulfillment because of some kind of group or because of some kind of like the hangman, because of some kind of pick me energy as well. Where did this energy come up? Um... I think it was the second that the group being in some kind of despair or something. I don't know. Some Strength card reverse. King of Cups. Um, hmm, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like this. Um, somebody, somebody is, is actually like, like not feeling strong enough to, to move towards you, quite honestly. Um, pile number two. 
I feel like maybe the fairies have been doing them in a little bit as well. And it's because of the way they maybe treated you or because they didn't hold up to their bargain or something is what I'm hearing. Again, the temperance as well. And I don't know, like somebody just felt like they weren't like up to the task or somebody is now feeling like they're not up to the task or something. Um... I don't know. It's like they're juggling comfort and their comfort zone with what they wanted or what they asked for. Okay, but like, I don't even want to continue doing this reading then because like, then you kind of don't, you obviously don't want what you wanted for, right? Justice. So like, you obviously don't want what you wanted. So I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, how do you, how do you juggle magic? How do you... How do you juggle, like, the Harry Potter world with the Muggle world? Like, what's... I'm I'm hearing the fairies be like, what's wrong with you? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Whew! Um, Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, somebody... Somebody has... Was kind of like... Or is in some kind of energy of like, I don't know. Like, should I... Should I approach this person? But like, then... Like, then... Whoa! I, I don't know. This... I don't know. Um, I actually feel like the fairies are a little bit irritated. Like, I feel like a very mischievous energy coming up. Like, I'm actually seeing like these really small critters like growl. Like, like frown. Start frowning and looking like... Yeah, like the fairies turning into fucking... <laughs> into um warriors or some shit just one card please traveler moving in a new direction and stack trust and thrive again i feel like this person is, is deciding to like move in a new direction but i feel like you the fairies are, are also opening up a new pathway for you because like i don't know do you want this person that is like consistently juggling like their ultimate wish fulfillment with i don't know some kind of bullshit energy of course you fucking don't and i feel like the fairies are like come on bitch you know like like please like wake up or something like that um now I'm getting the vibe of like the mice from Cinderella. Cinderella, Cinderella. It's almost like they they kind of like just move on beyond this, okay? Because I don't know who juggles like who juggles magic with the mundane. That's silly. And I feel like I feel like 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 the, the fairies want you to really like snap that. Like 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 really that like the guy that, that cut off Maleficent's wings to be the king of a fucking normal basic ass kingdom it's like boo boo that's like anyway a lot of lame energies here as well i feel like these fairies are like not taking shit in. thank you so much uh polymer tube that was your reading please consider liking and subscribing and i'll see you again for another one Sat number you satnam pile number three for those of you who picked this fairy quartz pineapple quartz cluster thing this is going to be a reading to see what do you fairy what do the fairies want you to know to know what do they want you to know Ooh. I feel like I feel like the fairies are actually coming through and ripping somebody's mask off all the fucking way down. Okay, like I feel like somebody's about to be exposed in the most. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing again. Like this is a lot of like trickstery vibes with the fairies, like in the most shitty way possible. Like <laughs> I feel like the fairies are kind of like um like somebody hurt you or like oh like oh, oh she thinks she's all bad like. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa. Seven of Pentacles, Death, Rebirth. Uh, Part number three. If somebody did you wrong, or if somebody, I don't know, smeared you, or went on some kind of be this physically or energetically or something like a smear campaign or something i mean somebody did some shitty things to you i feel like um the fairies like i don't know like i even want to say like i don't know if you've worked with fairies before or if you've like because what, what kind of fairies were you working with is what i wanted to ask because i feel like the fairies um want to go into somebody's mind actually and like wreck complete havoc um, up until the point where somebody might want to... So anyway, to such an extent that somebody is going to kind of even maybe want to like take themselves out or something. And again, like if you go... Not again, but like if you go listen to... Or if you go read the, the stories about fairies and shit, like uh, they don't take... You know, like like they can get really, really intense, right? Um, but I feel like I'm getting this vibe 
of the fairies doing something to somebody's mind, somebody's inner world, that's going to make them in some way like, maybe like lose their shit or expose themselves in some way, like make their masks fall off, like have them reveal um, their true selves or some shit like that. Page of fire. Yeah, like, I feel like this person is going to start acting erratically or something, okay? So if you had some kind of, like, if you did a hex on somebody, I don't know. If you did a hex on somebody with fairies, like, that's going to work. Even if you didn't do a hex on somebody, um, I feel like the fairies just really like you. The star, page of water, and the lovers. I feel like the fairies just, just you know, this might have been a lover that did the thing to you, okay? Somebody, like, um, I don't know, hurt you or something. I don't know. The fairies just are not having this. Um, I'm actually feeling, I'm actually feeling that, um, the fairies might actually be sending you something, somebody different as well. And now I'm hearing that song, Tirna Nog by Celtic Woman. Um, come my love, our worlds make part, the gods will guide us across the dark. Come with me and be mine, my love, stay and break my heart. So I feel like the fairies are actually, the fairies are doing somebody in really badly for doing you in, in regards to love that might actually... Um, I don't know, they're going to expose themselves in some shitty way for like treating an earth angel or a, or a fairy incarnate or something like that really, really shitty, okay? Um, they might have tried to sacrifice you, even this person, okay? Or a group it could have been, I don't know. But ha whatever is hap happening, like this person is like really um, going to, I feel like they might, they might actually go like crazy by being haunted by what they did to you or something like that is what I'm also hearing here, okay? Um, and you're going to be given some kind of new love. You're going to be given some kind of new um a new boo specifically is what i'm hearing i'm seeing a lot of like um you you know i don't know if you've seen that the, the animation anastasia you know where um where they where they ride in the train and those like demonic things like go and they like try to like break the train thing uh, that keeps the train together i'm like that's the kind of energy i'm feeling here with somebody's mind with somebody's like thought process with their like shit like that okay i don't know what this person did to you but um just know the fairies are not having this okay For some of you, again, this might have been an actual lover. If that's the case, maybe check out... I think it was pile number two that was also about love. Um, so maybe go check out that one, okay? Winter, take care of your needs. Yeah, somebody's being thrown into the dead of winter, I actually feel like. I feel like, again, somebody might have left you for dead or left you to starve or... I don't know. And then the fairies found you and they were like... They nurtured you or something is what I'm getting. Um, somebody here... Somebody here is about to... Um, I don't know, somebody hears mind, their, their, their mind, yeah, queen of air, their mind, um, is about to, seven of air, whoa, um, and the four of earth, somebody here is about to completely lose it, their mind is about to completely, um, become barren and cold, as in winter, in a sense of, like, I feel like all of their lies are catching up to them, or all of their, um, deceptions, their gaslighting, shit like that is being, is, is catching up to them, and I feel like it's killing everything within them, fuck, fuck, um, this is a really intense energy, actually, but I feel like, like, like the fairies or the consciousness doing this to this person. Um, I feel like this person is also kind of like, how dare you do this? But like, this isn't your energy doing this. This is this person's own energy, like backfiring on them. I just got a message as well. Um, uh, I feel like this, this energy has no, has no, like, um, I'm hearing repercussions. This this energy has no like mercy or something because again, I feel like some somebody left you to die or some shit. Okay, you might resonate with being that feminine or that masculine or just I don't know. Somebody was just supposed to help you or I don't know what the fuck. Um, some something didn't work out and somebody's being being um thrown to the wolves here. Okay, and these wolves are like these very intense um. <sighs> Fairy things. I don't know. Fairy monsters or some shit. Uh, pile number three. That was your reading. Please consider liking and subscribing. And I will see you again for another one. Bye. Sat Nam. Pile number four. For those of you who picked this citrine. Um... I almost said how light. What? The Citrine Fairy Quartz. This is going to be a reading to see a message from the... Hmm, a, hmm, a message from the fairies. Um, can, I can already tell you, I feel like the fairies are wanting to bring some kind of like um, how light energy into your life. And how light is all about like calmness and balance and just like tranquility. And just, like, 
because I feel like the fairies want to bring that into you, okay? In for you. <laughs> five of air. <laughs> the five of wands. Um, the three of cups. Yeah. And the journey. Yeah, though. Um, like, yeah, the scribe. Yeah. Um, the child, the, uh, the scribe, the child, and abundance. Um, fairies tend to be extremely innocent until they're hurt, right? I feel like maybe you've dealt with a lot of bullshit. You've dealt with a lot of drama. You've dealt with a lot of things with, um, groups or from a group, a friend group. I don't know. You're journeying away from that. I feel like the fairies are saying, like, listen, um, uh, like, yeah, we, we all about mischievousness and shit, but like sometimes something is just petty and then, and then you just go, okay? Like, this isn't even worth your energy or something like that, okay? Um, I feel like the, the fairies are saying, like, if you have been feeling the need to move away from a certain group, a certain person, um, a certain whatever this is, um, your fairies are saying yes, okay? Because there is some kind of, I'm even feeling there's some kind of, um, drama behind the scenes because I feel like this is what's being presented. There's like, la, 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 la. but actually it's this energy. Okay. It's like this, this, this conflict energy, um, a lot of jealousy, a lot of pettiness, a lot of drama, shit like that. So I feel like you're, uh, you're, you're the fairies, your fairies are, yeah, the world, the magician, um, two of earth and the queen of earth, the, your fairies and the fairies and the king of earth are, um, like pushing you to, to move away from something so that you can have a more balanced life so that you can have a more tranquil life. Okay. The Queen of Fire clarifying the, the Five of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of um, shitty energy. Queen of Water, King of Earth, King of Fire, the Dreamer, Ten of Cups, Queen of Fire. Whoa. Part number four. There's definitely some kind of bullshit energy consistently, the ego card consistently being manifested in your life or surrounding you, okay? Um, again, this might be from your, 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 your previous friend group is what I'm hearing. This might be from a friend group, from um, just a bunch of people, just from a friend or like a group of people. I don't know what this is. Um, Whatever this is, like your fairies, your fairies are, are saying that this, this, there is some kind of karmic energy manifesting a lot of, um, shittiness in, in this group. There is a karmic energy manifesting a lot of, um, like competition and just bullshit and just, ugh, like, ugh, like, ugh, ugh. So, so your fairies are really like, 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 no, okay, like nine of air, this is not it, okay, this group, this energy is not it, six of cups, clarifying the, the three of cups, for some of you, this might be a group from the past, or somebody from the past, or I don't know, um, it's just not it, okay, like, if you've even been, if you've been wanting to move away, and you've been having, like, um, like, thoughts of reunion, or thoughts of, like, oh, but maybe they're not that bad, or something like that, your fairies are saying, no, <laughs> <laughs> you need to go. I, I can't stress this enough, okay? Like your fairies, um, like I'm even hearing your fairies saying, like, like, listen, yeah, you leaving, you leaving this bullshit energy behind would be your justice. It's gonna be your nine of earth, okay? From a nine of um, air life experience, the, all this group has to offer is 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 um towers, yeah, towers and bullshit, uh, under the guise of of money. Um, bullshit, like intense energies under the guise of money. Whether this again be a uh, be an ex friend group or whatever, um, I don't know. So you're you're being moved away from this group. You're being moved away from this uh, person or this thing or this consciousness. For some of you, this could even be a soul tribe or a collective or something like that. Okay, maybe you've always um resonated with with. Yeah, you're moving towards something brand new. You're moving into the world towards something or someone brand new. A brand new group um, where you will actually like shine the way you're supposed to, where you'll be um, received the way you're supposed to, okay? Um, yeah, justice and the star. Five of air, ten of air, ace of air. I feel like this group, this group just tried to, I don't know, they tried to... Maybe this group, I feel like this group was actually just going along with this queen of fire, quite honestly. Um, but like, like ignorance does not equate innocence, right? Because I feel like this group probably knew, like they were, they were having fun doing this, uh, whatever this was. King of Wands reverse, yeah. Um, your fairies are moving you away towards towards something better, something brand new for you, okay? Not something from the past. This this past thing is very um I'm hearing childish, okay? And you don't have time for that. Like you're in your nine of pentacles. You're like like doing your thing. You're just like um wanting to to you're actually wanting to move away. So if you are feeling any kind of energies again of reconciliation or anything like that, that is this group or this person sending that energy towards you to make you um like want them or something, okay? 
like forgive them or like because I feel like this queen of fire just wants to put more burdens on you. She just wants to put more pettiness, competition and drama on you. She hates you. Like I'm I'm feeling this person leer at my energy or something. Um which is currently like your energy, right? This person does not like you, okay? Four of pentacles in reverse and the devil. Yeah, you're moving away from some kind of um like, this was never stable. This was never it. Like, it was never it, is what I'm hearing to say, okay? It was never stable. It was never the thing that you were meant to be with or who you were meant to be with or whatever. This devil energy... um this devil energy, I'm also feeling, doesn't want to let you go, though. Five of Earth. Yeah, because this devil energy wants you, the star, to be in a complete... um they want you to be completely left out in regards to love, finances, everything, but most specifically love for some reason. High Priestess, Eight of Cups, Seven of Fire, the Emperor, Seven of Earth, Six of Fire, Balance, Two of Earth. Yeah, somebody, somebody, um, some kind of group or somebody wanted to, um, you to not have anything, especially love here, okay? But again, I feel like your, uh, the fairies or your fairies are just like, um, near. Like we're gonna we're gonna be moving you away from this bullshit. This bullshit is not it, okay? Like this Queen of Fire is like ugh. <laughs> take time to reflect, Mirror Guardian. I'm actually hearing the the fairy say like take several seats, bitch. Like something like that. I'm also feeling like this how lighty experience that you're moving into, this very calm experience, is meant to assist you in taking time to reflect and seeing why did you not why did you navigate through that energy? Why did you attract that energy? Um, I'm also feeling it's gonna teach you in how to teach others to navigate out of that devil energy because this felt very um manipulative like maybe even some black magic was done here you know even magic for reconciliation magic to keep you stuck to this devil energy you know shit like that um you're being moved away from that and i feel like especially this karmic queen of fire is going to be stuck in some kind of unstable situation with this devil energy okay um and she's also she's also going to have be in this energy of like constantly needing to um i'm hearing see your face every time something shitty happens because of what they what they or she did to you okay polymer four Thank you so much. That was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you again for another one. Satnam. Bye.